Hi guys, welcome to Epsons Pro. Welcome to an Elementor WordPress tutorial where I'm gonna show you guys how you can add a stylish 3D animation effects on your Elementor website completely for free. Let me show you the examples. So take a look at these flying birds, which also have these hover effects. So whenever I take my mouse, it's gonna disperse, right? And you can add it to any of your section, to any of your Elementor section very easily, which I'm going to show you. So that's the first example of the animation. And that is the second example. You can change the colors. You can change the background color. And you can also change the hover effect if you want to disable the hover effect or if you want to enable the hover effect. Completely depends on you. So that's the second example here. And that is the third example. Looks awesome, right? So if you want to learn how to add this on your Elementor website completely for free, you don't need to use any plugin for that. You don't need to use any paid add-on. You just need to copy a small piece of code snippet and it's going to be showing up on your Elementor website. If you want to do that, watch the complete video. So guys, what we will be using to add this type of animation is first, let me close this out and create a new WordPress page for you guys in order to show you how you can basically add that. So I'm going to click on pages and then click on add page. And here I am going to name it animation example new. As I already have that page created, I'm going to publish the page here and then click on edit with Elementor. Okay, here I have the title showing up. So what I'm going to do, I am going to change the template. So click on page settings. And from there, I am going to select the page layout to be Elemento Canvas. So I don't have any other title or anything showing up. Perfect. Now I'm going to click on this plus sign and then select the flex box and select this first one here. And in order to make it full height, let's click on this drop down here. Click on BH and then add in 100. Perfect. And now all I have to do is just click on publish. Now we have a full height section and here we will add our animation. And in order to add the animation, all you have to do is just go to Google and search for Venta.js. So that's the 3D backgrounds library completely for free available for you. Click on that. And here you can see this animation showing up. So that's the first example. That's for the birds. We have some other example as well. I already showed you the glowed in net, but we also have some other examples like fog and waves. This one also looks good, right? With the mouse effect as well. So if I move my mouse, the waves are basically moving a little bit. Click on clouds. We have these stylish looking clouds again with the hover effect. So if I move my mouse, clouds are basically moving as well. Perfect. And I click on cells. Here we have some cells. These one doesn't have the mouse effect. And these are the trunk. Again, without the mouse effect. I personally like this net globe and birds, which I showed you guys. So first, let's try adding the birds. So I'm going to click on birds and then in order to match the color combination of the logo of the website, you can simply mouse over from this hill and then change the color. So you can see I have changed the color and color to to be whatever you want. So I'm going to add the color to to be white. Perfect. You can see that we have this colors showing up right with the mouse effect. Now, all I have to do in order to add it to the Elementor is just copy the code from here, which is available. Copy the code, click on this plus sign, add the HTML element, drag and drop, and then paste the code. Now, after pasting the code, we have these links here. So these two script tags is basically containing these links. 
So I'm going to click on the first link, copy this URL and paste it here. So replace this, which is showing up. Make sure to note that we are replacing this. Perfect. We have our URL pasted. Now I'm going to do the same for the second one here. Make sure to add it between the inverted commas, right? And again, click on the second link. Once you click on that, it's going to open that up in a new tab. And all we have to do is just copy this URL here and paste it here. Perfect. Now, the second thing what we need to do is make sure to update this selector here. So this animation will show up only to the section which has this ID. The ID we have is your element selector. We can use the same selector or we can name it, rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to rename it to be hero banner. Okay, now just copy this hero dash banner and then on our section, the first section. So if I open up the structure, here we have this container. In this container, click on advanced and then scroll down. And then here, add in the CSS ID, which we copied from the code. I'm going to paste it here and then click on publish. Perfect. Now let's preview our page. I'm going to click on this I to preview changes. Hey, you can see that we have our animated birds showing up and you can do the same with the other animations which we have present. I'm going to show you that as well. So let's close these two tabs here and take a look at the second example, the net one here. Again, I'm going to grab this code. Go back to my Elementor added page, click on this HTML code element, which I added and then replace this code with the one which I copied from Venta.js. Again, let's open up these two links and copy these links, paste it here. Do the same for the second one. Paste it here. And then make sure you have the element ID renamed as the same one. What was the Elementor ID, our ID was hero banner for this container here, right? I'm gonna copy this from here and paste it to our HTML code block, which we added. So let's rename this your element selector to be hero dash banner. Perfect. You can see that we have a second animation showing up. Again, you can do the same with all of the animations present in Venta.js. All right. And if you are looking to customize your Elementor website, and if you want help building the landing page, there's a link in the description. Make sure to contact us and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next video, have a great day.